여러분 안녕하세요. Hi everyone, welcome back to Gangnam Korean. I'm Juhi. Today I'm here to help you practice introducing yourself in Korean. Introducing yourself for self introduction is called 자기 소개. 자기 means oneself and 소개 means introduction. So self introduction 자기 소개. Uh, if somebody asks you to introduce yourself, you might hear this keyword 자기 소개, and the sentences will vary like this. 자기 소개 좀 해주세요. 자기 소개 해볼래요? 자기 소개 부탁드립니다. So even if you don't understand the whole sentence, you understand what you're expected to do because you understand the word 자기소개, right? But in a foreign language like in Korean, you might not be able to introduce yourself properly if you don't practice enough. So here I am to help you practice introducing yourself in Korean. So shall we begin? So what do you need to say when you introduce yourself in Korean? First, greetings and your name. Secondly, you can tell them where you're from and maybe you can add where you live now. Third, your occupation or what you do. If you don't have a job, you can just mention what you want to do in the future. Next, your family. How many siblings you have, if you're married or if you have children, etc. Next, your age. Isn't it too personal? Yes, it is, of course, but depending on the context, people might expect you to reveal your age for some reason, but it really depends. Then you can mention your likes and what you like to do. People can find something in common between you and them, so it can bring up some good conversation topic later on. Finally, you end your introduction with hopes and wishes. You begin with greetings and say your name. 안녕하세요. 음, 음, 입니다. You put your own name in the blank like this. 안녕하세요. 하리입니다. Hi, I'm Hari. 안녕하세요. 사다프입니다. Hi, I'm Sadaf. 안녕하세요. 칸입니다. Hi, I'm Khan. Like this. You could also say 저는 음입니다. 저는 means I in 존댓말 or formal language. But we don't really use this 저는 part. In most Korean language textbooks, you will find 저는 음입니다 when you introduce yourself. But in real life, we don't really say that because 저는 part is not really necessary. 안녕하세요. 아이입니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 이영입니다. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 정성입니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 한국입니다. So you say 안녕하세요. 음입니다. And 입니다 is equivalent to am, are or is because that means to be. By the way, do you have a Korean name? If you don't, you can make one and uh, there are some short videos I made related to Korean names you can refer to. All right, now let's move on to telling your nationality or where you're from. In order to say where you're from or your nationality, you could use two different patterns. 전 음음에서 왔습니다. Or 전 음음 사람입니다. First, 전 음음에서 왔습니다. You could put your own country name in this blank. And 전 means, of course, I. 음음 에서 에서 means from 왔습니다 means came 전 인도에서 왔습니다 I'm from India 전 미국에서 왔습니다 I'm from the US 전 베트남에서 왔습니다 I'm from Vietnam And the second pattern is 전 음음 사람입니다 you can put your own country name in the blank as well. This shows your nationality. For example, 전 프랑스 사람입니다. I'm French. 전 인도 사람입니다. I'm Indian. In English, the nationality ends with N, like American, Canadian, German, or ish, like Scottish, Irish, British, or E's, like Vietnamese. And there are some other endings as well. But in Korean, it's a lot simpler. You simply put your country name, then add the word 사람, which means a person. So, 인도 사람, Indian. 베트남 사람, Vietnamese. So the sentence goes, 전 인도 사람입니다. 전 베트남 사람입니다. Instead of putting the sentence ending 입니다, you can say 이에요, which can sound a little more friendly, like this. 전 네팔 사람이에요. I'm Nepali. 전 그리스 사람이에요. I'm Greek. You could also say 전 음, 음, 
인입니다. So instead of using the word 사람, you can use the word in, which means a person. And I personally like this one better, like this. 전 한국인입니다. I'm Korean. Or 전 한국인이에요. 전 미국인입니다. 전 미국인이에요. After saying where you're from, you can also add where you live now, like this. 전 인도에서 왔습니다. 지금은 서울에 살고 있어요. 지금은 means now, 서울에. 서울 is Seoul, and 에 means in, at are those prepositions, and 살고 있어요. am living, which means now I'm living in Seoul. 지금은 서울에 살고 있어요. 지금은 부산에 살고 있어요. 지금은 대전에 살고 있어요. After saying your name and where you're from, you may want to mention your occupation like this. 전 음음이에요. If you are a teacher, you can say 전 선생님이에요. I'm a teacher. If you're a student, you can say 전 학생이에요. 전 학생이에요. 전 유튜버예요. I'm a YouTuber. You could also say what you do. 전 한국어를 가르쳐요. 한국어 means the Korean language and 를 is an object marker and 가르쳐요. That means teach. I teach Korean. If you make computer programs, you can say 전 컴퓨터 프로그램을 만들어요. 만들어요. Make computer programs. 컴퓨터 프로그램. REM that ends with a final consonant. So the object marker is not 를, but it's 을. So there are two object markers, 을, 를. So if the object ends with a final consonant, you put 을. 컴퓨터 프로그램을 만들어요. And if it doesn't have the final consonant, you say 전 한국어를 가르쳐요. So you put 를. If you don't have a job, you can just mention what you want to do in the future. Now, you may want to briefly talk about your family. If you have any brothers or sisters, or if you are an only child or the youngest child, well, if you're a grown-up, you can tell them if you're married, if you have any children, how many you have, etc. So here are some sample sentences. 전 결혼해서 아이가 둘 있는데요. 둘다 아들입니다. This means I'm married. 전 결혼해서 and 아이가 둘 있는데요. I have two children. 둘 다. Both are 아들입니다. Boys. If you say this, people might take a pity on you. You can also say, 전 아직 싱글인데요. 남자친구가 없습니다. This means, I'm still single and I have no boyfriend. Then people might ask you out or maybe they can introduce their friends to you. How about this sentence? This is a fan, so challenge. 전셋 중에 막내예요. 언니랑 오빠가 한 명씩 있습니다. What does that mean? 전셋 중에 I put up three fingers. 셋 means three. 중에 In the middle of, among, of, 막내입니다. 막내 means the youngest child. So it means 전셋 중에 막내입니다. I'm the youngest of three children. 언니랑 오빠가 한 명씩 있습니다. 음. 언니 means an older sister and 오빠 means an older brother. So 한 명씩, one respectively. So I have one older sister and one older brother. So 전셋 중에 막내인데요. 언니랑 오빠가 한 명씩 있습니다. Got it? All right, now tell me about your family. Next, you could say your age. This is not always necessary, but if you are introducing yourself to a small group like your Korean language class, you might be expected to reveal your age. And you and your group will quickly decide whether to use casual language, 반말, or the formal language, 존댓말. Mm. Even if you are older than the others though, do not use 반말 casual language right away because um, as time goes by, you will understand if it's appropriate, okay? So how do you say your age? You can use this pattern. 전 음음 살 
입니다. Sal is a measure word meaning the year of age and you may want to use native Korean numbers like 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷 rather than Sino-Korean numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I made a video on these two different Korean number systems so you may want to check that out. So here are some simple sentences. 전 25살입니다. I'm 25 years old. 전 32살입니다. I'm 32 years old. 전 마흔살입니다. I'm 40 years old. And just like in English, you don't have to put the word 세 like this. 전 스물다섯 살입니다. Can be 전 스물다섯이에요. 전 스물다섯이에요. In English, you can say I'm 25 years old or just I'm 25. Instead of saying 전, I, you can use the word 나이는, which means the age is. It goes like this. 나이는 스물다섯 살이에요. Or 나이는 스물다섯이에요. Now tell them about your likes and your favorite pastimes. It's quite common to mention what you like and what your favorite pastime is. Then your audience will understand what kind of person you are. You can use one of these patterns like this. 제 취미는 음입니다. 제 취미는 my hobby is 음음. Okay? And the second pattern is 저는 음음을 좋아합니다. Or 저는 음음을 좋아합니다. And this pattern, 전 음음 하는 걸 좋아해요. Which means I like doing 음음. And 하는 걸 is actually 하는 것을. But in spoken Korean, we say 걸 rather than 것을. So here are some simple sentences. 제 취미는 노래하기입니다. My hobby is singing. 제 취미는 SNS 하는 거예요. My hobby is doing SNS. 전 뉴진스를 좋아해요. I like new jeans. 전 BTS를 좋아해요. I like BTS. 전 요리하는 걸 좋아해요. I like cooking. 전 영화 보는 걸 좋아해요. I like watching movies. So what do you like or what do you like doing? Finally, you wrap up your self-introduction with your hope. If you want to express your hope or wishes, you can say 바랍니다. 바랍니다 at the end, which means I wish or I hope. For example, 여러분과 모두 친하게 지내길 바랍니다. I hope to be friends with you all. Once again, 여러분과 모두 친하게 지내길 바랍니다. How about this? 이 수업에서 한국어를 많이 배우길 바랍니다. 이 수업에서, in this class, 한국어를, the Korean language, 많이, a lot, 배우길 바랍니다. Hope to learn, mm, so it's more like hope to improve. So it goes, I hope my Korean improves a lot in this class. 이 수업에서 한국어를 많이 배우길 바랍니다. If you don't have any specific hope, you can say 잘 부탁드립니다. 잘 means well. 부탁드립니다 is I'm asking you a favor. But you can't really translate this to I'm asking you a favor well. No, 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 no. So there's no exact translation or there's no exact equivalent expression to this in English. But it's more like thank you. I hope we get along well. 잘 부탁드립니다. Then wrap up your introduction with 감사합니다. So today you learned how to introduce yourself in Korean. Um, how was it? I hope it was helpful. So what you need to do is please write down the sentences about yourself one at a time, like about your name and your family, your age, your occupation, where you're from and likes, etc. Okay? And leave those sentences in the comment below, okay? So I'll give you feedback. Hope you do that as soon as possible and I'll see you in my next video. 여러분, 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye-bye.